patient and get it, get it turned on. Again, as we get it turned on, then I, I'll start uh, going over the documents with you. Welcome to the 1A 6th District Court, Court is in session. This is State of Texas versus Domingo Victor Rios, cause numbers 2019 CR 11554 and 2020 CR 0754. We're here today for pleas in these cases. We're conducting the hearing via video conference using the Zoom application. We're also using YouTube to live stream the proceedings to keep the hearing public. The time now is 3.22 p.m. in the afternoon of July 28, 2021. These proceedings are official. They're on the record and they're being recorded by the official court reporter, counsel, and all present are instructed to act as though you are in court and all instructed not to record the proceedings. And if I could have the attorneys make appearances starting with the state of Texas, please. Andrew Fields for the state. Robert A. Valdez for Mr. Rios, Your Honor. All right, your microphone's a little bad, Mr. Valdez. We'll try to work with it and see how we can go. I'll I'm just sorry see if the, let, me, let me just say, if the court reporter can't hear you, she's going to indicate that to me, and we're going to maybe have to do something different, but we'll see we, if we can get through. She I has to go, be able to hear you. I can go to the client's computer. Well, uh, no, let's just let's try what we have right now. I think we're okay. She'll indicate to me if she can't hear you. All right. It's Okay. All right, Mr. Rios, are you the same Domingo Rios in 2019 CR 11554 charged by indictment with possession with intent to deliver a controlled substance, penalty group two, from four to 400 grams? Is that you, sir? Yes, sir. In state, are we proceeding on both counts? No, Your Honor, we're only proceeding on count one on uh, 2020 CR 0754. Well, what are we doing? Well, on that case, there is only one count, uh, but on sorry. the 2019 case, there's two counts. I meant the 2019 case. I'm sorry, Judge. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. And then, sir, are you the same Domingo Rios in 2020 CR 0754 charged by indictment with manufacturing deli or delivering a controlled substance penalty group one from four to 200 grams? Is that you, sir? Yes, sir. <laughs> And sir, what I'm going to do is going to go to a function called share screen. I'm going to show you these indictments and have some questions for you. This is 2019 CR 11554. Are you familiar with this document? Yes, sir. Did you go over this with Mr. Valdez? Yes, sir. You understand it? Yes, sir. And then I'm going to scroll to 2020 CR 0754. Same questions. Are you familiar with this document? Yes, sir. Did you go over this with Mr. Valdez? Yes, sir. You understand it? Yes, sir. And Mr. Valdez, do we waive reading of the indictments? We do, Your Honor. Thank you. I'm going to get out of share screen. And I will note that in each case, there is a discovery acknowledgement that's been signed and dated by both sides. I'm doing the same and making those a part of their respective records. All right, Mr. Rios, I'm going to go back into share screen again. I'm going to show you from each case, there's a document that's called the defendant's consent to plead by video conference. And this is in the 2019 case. I'm scrolling down. There's electronic signature. I'm using my cursor to circle around. Is this your signature, sir? Yes, sir. And then in the 2020 case, same document. And again, I'm asking you if this is your electronic signature that I'm using my cursor to circle around. Yes, sir. And get out of share screen by signing the defendant's consent to plead by video conference. You're telling me two things for each case. One is that you understand normally we do pleas live and in, in live and in the courtroom, but that you are consenting to do the pleas by video conference. Did you understand that when you sign these? Yes, sir. Secondly, your electronic signatures on those documents, as well as all of the other electronic signatures in the plea packets in front of me today, you're telling me that those are valid as if you personally signed them. Did you understand that when you signed those documents? Yes, sir. I approve the consents and I make them a part of their respective records. I will note that in each case, there's an application for community supervision and I'll make those a part of their respective records. I'm gonna go back into share screen, sir. This time I'm gonna show you documents from each case, both tell the court's admonishments 
This is in the 2019 case. I'll scroll through for you because it's several pages. Are you familiar with this document? Yes, sir. Did you go over this with Mr. Valdez? Yes, sir. You understand it? Yes, sir. The bottom of page three is electronic signature. Is this yours? Yes, sir. Let's go over to the other one that's in the 2020 case. Again, I'll scroll through for you. Are you familiar with this document? Yes, sir. Did you go over this with Mr. Valdez? Yes, sir. Bottom of page three, is this your electronic signature? Yes, sir. I'm going to get out of share screen. By signing the court's admonishments in each case, you're telling me for each case that you understand the court's admonishments, you understand the rights that are contained within it. Is that true? Yes, sir. And that you want to give up those rights. Is that true? Yes, sir. And the rights you're giving up in each case is you have a right to a trial by jury. You have a right to confront the witnesses against you. You also have the right to remain silent, which includes the right not to incriminate yourself and not plead today. Did you understand that when you sign these? Yes, sir. Sign these. You're also telling me you understand the consequences of a plea and the sentencing ranges for the offenses. Both yes. offenses are first degree felony cases here in Texas. And so the sentencing range for those offenses is anywhere from five to 99 years or life in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand that when you signed the court's admonishments in these cases? Yes, sir. I approve the waivers that are contained within the court's admonishments in each case and make them a part of their respective records. So we're going to go back into share screen. I'm going to show you the plea bargain in each case. This is in the 2019 case. Are you familiar with this document? Yes. Did you go over this with your attorney? Yes, sir. Did you understand it? Yes, sir. There's an electronic signature to the left. I'm using my cursor to circle around. There's another one to the right. I'm circling around. Is this, are these your electronic signatures? Yes. Well, let's go look at the one that's in the 2019 case. Again, are you familiar with this document? Yes. Did you go over this with your attorney? Yes, sir. Did you understand it? Yes, sir. There's these two electronic signatures here. I'm using my cursor to circle around. Are these your signatures? Yes. These case, these documents detail for me your agreements with the state as far as punishment is concerned. I will let you know if you want to follow these part of the entries of your plea. Look like they mirror each other. They both say punishment will be assessed with six years in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice with a $1,500 fine. Each case will run concurrent with each other. Taken in consideration in each case are two indicted felony causes. State, what kind of offenses are those? One is a tampering with evidence, and the other one is a lesser drug charge. Okay, thank you. Lesser meaning not a first degree. That's correct. It's 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 possession with intent to deliver less than a gram. Okay, okay, thank you. All right. And then you'll pay restitution for the cost of testing the substances. One of your signatures in each case waives your appeal. Outside of the agreement, but the recommendations are to be placed on community supervision for six years, have a drug and alcohol treatment evaluation, perform community, 100 community service hours. And then follow all the recommendations. You'll take monthly year analysis. You'll take a, a drug course and you have to prove up employment as well. We also want intensive outpatient for you. But is that your understanding of your agreement in these cases, sir? Yes, sir. Counsel, is that your understanding as well? It is, Your Honor. I'm going to get out of share screen, sir. I'm not bound by a plea bargain. I do not have to follow any of these. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. But if I do follow a plea bargain, then you lose your right to appeal. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. And that's true unless I grant you permission to appeal or unless certain motions are filed and ruled upon. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Counsel, any such rulings in either case? No, Your Honor. I couldn't hear you, sir. No, Your Honor. One more time. No, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. If I do not follow the plea bargain, I'll allow you to withdraw the plea and we'll proceed to trials if this hearing never occurred. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. I'll note again, one of your signatures on each of the plea bargains waives your appeal. Are you a citizen of the United States? Yes, sir. Not and plead guilty or no contest to either of these offenses would have serious adverse effects on your immigration status. And I'll note that you certified in each of the court's admonishments that you are an American citizen. Counsel, for each case, do you believe that your client has a factual, rational understanding of the charge pending against him? I do, Your Honor. Do you believe he's been able to assist you in the defense? 
Yes, sir. Do you believe it's mentally competent to waive rights and enter pleas here today? Yes, sir. Sir, to the offense listed at count one on 2019 CR 11554, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest. No contest. You understand you can still be found guilty under a no contest plea? Yes, sir. And then in 2020 CR 0754, the offense listed on that indictment, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest. Again, you understand you can still be found guilty under a no contest plea. Yes, sir. Other than the plea bargain, did anyone promise you anything in exchange for your mm -hmm. pleas today? Anyone? You have to say out loud. No. Did anyone force you or coerce you to plead today? No. Okay. After going over this case with your attorney, these cases with your attorney, do you believe that pleading here today is in your best interest? Yes, sir. Does the state have anything to offer to support the pleas? Yes, Your Honor, the state offers state exhibit one on both cases and attachments. No objections, Your Honor. They're admitted for each case. I reviewed state's exhibit one and attachments for each case prior to getting on the record and find that they are sufficient to support the pleas. Sir, I find that your pleas were freely, intelligently, and voluntarily made, that there was sufficient evidence to support the pleas, and that you're mentally competent to enter into such pleas. And in each case, I find you guilty, sir. Mr. Valdez, do we want to waive pre-sentence investigation report? Yes, Your Honor, we will, please. And Mr. Valdez, is there any legal reason as to why your client cannot be sentenced in either case? No, Your Honor. There being no legal reason, and in accordance with the agreement with the state, sir, in each case, I sentence you to six years in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. However, I'll suspend that, and I'll place you on new supervision for a period of six years. And these... The sentence I'm pronouncing is, is true for each case. There's a $1,500 fine. Each case will run concurrent with each other. Taken in consideration for dismissal are two other offenses. I'll read you the offenses, or I'll read you the cause numbers, I should say. Tell you the offenses. If you plead true to these, then I dismiss those cases. Do you understand how we're gonna proceed, Mr. Rios? Yes, sir. The state will need your help again on the offenses. But in cause number 2019 CR 11553, state, what kind of offense is that? One one five five three is possession with intent to deliver less than a gram, Your Honor. Did you do that one to to that one, sir? How do you plead? True or not true? Hmm. I couldn't hear you. Can you say again, please? True, true, sir. That is dismissed. And then in 2019, CR 11552, state, what's the offense again? It's a tampering with evidence, Your Honor. That, sir, how do you plead true or not true? True. As dismissed as well. In each case, you will pay $57 to the San Antonio Police Department for the costs and testing the substances. You'll have a TAP evaluation. You must follow the recommendations. You'll have 100 community service hours. You'll have 30 days to verify employment. It's also talking about certain classes, the DOEP course and monthly UAs. I'm going to wait for the TAP evaluation to come out, and we'll manage those types of programs after we see where Mr. Rios lands on the spectrum as far as substance abuse is concerned. All right, is there anything else from either side in regards to the plea or to the sentencing? No, you're right. On the defense, Your Honor, I've, I've spoken to the state. They have taken a cell phone and a key fob and a radar detector that were held for evidence. I don't believe that there's any more use for the items and we would like to request that they be returned to Mr. Rios. Well, what you can do, why don't you, we don't really need to get all on the record on that, but no, why don't no. you just file something and we'll, I'll look at it. And state signs off on it, I'm fine with that. That's, no That's fine. Okay. 
Sir, we're about ready to conclude the hearing. You need to stay on Zoom when we finish. You're going to meet with our probation officer. She's going to go over your new conditions. But if there's nothing else from either side, then this these matters are concluded. We are in recess. And